vlog it's day four and i'm seeing this from hannah hart vlogtober because i think i'm gonna do it every day just to see people's responses which yeah we'll see so recently i took one of those facebook tests that says what's inside of you and i post it and i took it and it analyzes your facebook and this and that and yada 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 now i took it because a friend of mine's mother took it and she got little devil inside of her so i'm like oh this should be interesting i should take it and i took it apparently i'm a sweet cherub angel Now, for me, I see that as next to comical. Don't ask why comical, I just say it because it's funny. Um, no, for me, I think I'm a little devil sometimes. I can be sarcastic and nasty, and I can be downright a shithole. However, in saying that I had taken that and discussing this test with coworkers last night at the Dirty Birdie, um... They literally pointed out that I am not a mean person. I may snap once in a while, but I collect myself in a matter of, hey, chill the fuck out. <laughs> okay, fine. Now, and then I look back and I think going, holy crap, maybe I am as sweet as people think I am. At 32 years old, I have lived in strange and obscure and all right adventurous life. I'm rolling on my 33rd year and I'm realizing going, I know two, I know two people here on, on Facebook who have known me for almost 90, for 98% of my entire life. For 30 years, come the fall of 2016, I'll have known these two women for 30 years. Now think about it. How many of your friends on Facebook can you say you have known for 98% of your life? Like you have siblings, you've got cousins, and sometimes you can be super close to your cousins, and you're like, I've known them my entire life. But literally, there are two people on Facebook, and I'm going to put them on blast right now, Tracy and Amanda. Two, 30 years, 2016, 30 years we have known each other. That is three people who have known each other for exactly 30 years. Now. I have a vast variety of friends, and I've had a collective bunch of characters growing up that I consider friends and acquaintances, and I don't even look at people as acquaintances, either your friends or your family. So Tracy and Amanda, you're no longer fa friends anymore, you're family, you're sisters. 30 years is a long time. So I have friends I've known for 30 years, I have friends I've known since kindergarten, so like 28 and 29 years. I, I, there are people who I have known from elementary school all through the rest of my life. I have met people starting in junior high all the way through. And mostly you guys, I have know a lot of you, I've known since like high school and on. And then you've got the college years. Those are special years for me. Those are special random cat moments. For those who are who went to CLC with me know what random cat means and not CLC late, you know, 2010, 2011, 2012. I'm like early 2000s. You know what that means. And then you have the ones I've met in my 20s, the friends who are amazing in this and that. And now in the second year of my 30s, the people I am meeting are vastly different from the people I've known. And so I go back to that past of being called sweet and an angel, I'm this and I'm that. And I stopped and I realized, going, like, how many of my friends would sit there and agree with that test? If you agree with that test, put a story down that makes you agree with that. Because I'm still baffled by the idea of me being sweet and innocent, because trust me, I was a little double growing up. But at the same time, it makes me go above the end going, now what does what considers you a friend? Take a quick look at an example, you know, examine your life and go back to when you either did something that was above and beyond the call of duty, so to speak, 
um, to reach out and help somebody just because they needed it. Or there's going to be a few people that put on blast in this video because I can. It's going to be a long video and I can, you'll love it. Trust me, you'll love it. And I had Tracy and Amanda 30 years and then literally only maybe like six years ago I met one, Anitra, who thousands and thousands of miles apart and randomly will get a text going, I was thinking of you, hope you're well. Now, who, who do you know that lives thousands and thousands of miles away who will sit there and you will have not spoken to this person in weeks, months, and all of a sudden they pop up just when you needed it most and goes, hey, how you doing? I have friends here on Facebook who I have known almost 10 years and have never physically met. But I still consider them friends, not acquaintances. And here's why I say that. I have one, Kelly, and she lives in Alberta, and she knows who she is, and I love her to death. I was living in Canada, a completely different country, and her and I met on Facebook, and we've been Facebook friends for almost 10 years now. I go by how old her children are now. And I sit here, and I'm thinking, going, wow, I could turn to her in tears, either on the phone or on Facebook Messenger or whatever, and she will be there for me. Like, she, there's no hesitation. She will be like, I'm on the next plane, train, automobile out, and I'll murder whoever I need to murder. Like, there's that new saying these days, ride or die. People consider me a ride or die. However, who do I consider ride or die? I don't have anyone who I'd ride and die with for. I, like, people, I will be, you know, random, put up here, yeah, I'll ride and die, but literally there are a, so many people I have met in my entire life that I can say, yeah, I would ride or die for them. But I can't specifically say one person is my ride or die. Like, I've been told I'm somebody's ride or die, and yeah, I'd go I'd go above and beyond to help them out when needed. It's, it's, I've used the van a few times to go ahead and you know, assert my authority, which is none, by the way, to just a little bit of a scare tactic into whoever needs it, because I mean, honestly, this thing rolling through your neighborhood at night with me in the front seat, you're not really going to come out your house, now are you? Those who know me know I'm a giant freaking cuddly teddy bear, but I am, no, forget it, I'm a koala bear. Those who think I'm a teddy bear... We're throwing that out the window. I'm a koala bear. I'm very cute and cuddly, and I will cling on to you, but I swear I will pull you from a tree if need be. Go on YouTube and look up koala screams. Trust me, it's the blood curdling, and you will be scared for life. I am scarred for it. But, I mean, I've made work friends. I've made school friends. I've made life friends. I've just made friends all over the place. But does that mean I'm ever going to stop being my little devilish self sometimes. No. For instance, take last night. I literally snapped on my coworkers. You want to know why? Because I could. And I was at the end of my wits and I was just done. But it takes a lot for me to snap. It really truly does. It also, you know, if I feel like you haven't been the same sort of friend to me as I have been to you for however long that we have been friends, I am very much one of those who will you know, as the saying is, by Felicia. Oh, hi, Felicia. Um, but at the same time, it's... I really, honestly, I'm like... I have two friends of mine, and they are very much my family. And their kids call me auntie. And, okay, so most of my friends' kids call me auntie. But <clears throat> most of you who have noticed on Facebook will see that I refer to my golden girls. And I've only known them for five years, but I, there's a few stories that I will indulge you with that honestly will truly show you what kind of friends I have. We'll go with the first story. It's about four years ago, National Pie Day, and my little GMP decides to go on Facebook, Jen, and says, 
what kind of pie does everybody like? I'm at work. I have no, I'm like, I like cherry pie. Hey, and apple pie and blueberry pie and pumpkin pie and pecan pie. And oh, did I mention cherry pie? Cherry pie, cherry pie, and cherry pie. Well, her and Becca, my other golden girl, decided that they were going to be in Illinois anyways. They had to go down the shop and hit Ikea. They hit Crab Shack, and that's another story to, del- to indulge you with later. And they literally showed up at my work with dun, 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 a cherry pie. Who does that? It's a cherry pie. It Literally, they showed up to my job with a cherry pie and said... Happy National Pie Day. And who could ask for better friends than that? Another story. And this story, it it was a sad twist, turns and dips and ducks and still have no idea what was going on. For those who, I went to school, SCLC 2012-ish time, know this story. I literally was walking through school and all of a sudden collapsed. My legs gave up underneath me, tried to go to class, ended up having people take me to the emergency room. I couldn't walk. No idea. I was in a great deal of pain, and I couldn't feel my legs. So, of course, me, being who I am, I let people know what's going on. I call my parents. You know, my dad shows up with my laptop so I can do homework because I was a studious student. But at the same time... Jen and Becca knows on Facebook that I'm in the hospital. So they call, and I tell them I'll keep them updated. They live up, up in Milwaukee. I was not expecting anything from them, just phone calls and updates, and that's about it. And that's what I did. That's what this friend did. I updated them on everything that was going on. Oh, yes, absolutely. And, uh, again, expect the unexpected from these two golden girls. Literally, I get off the phone... I say, I'll call you in an hour. Okay, hour rolls around. Doctor had been in. I literally was on my cell phone calling them. And I hear a knock at the door, so I hang up. And they walk in. They walk into my hospital bedroom an hour after I had spoken to them. I do believe they missed one of them missed class that night just so they could be at my bedside. That's friendship. <clears throat> I have gone to, I, I have not gone to that length as a friend. I really haven't. However, I am that one. You call at 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to pick up my phone. I am that one going, hey, I'm at a creepy place. Come get me and I will be there. Am I the one who, you're in the hospital? I don't like hospitals, so I'm not going to come visit you. I'm sorry. Unless you have a baby and even then, if they're cute, there's a button, which most of them are. I still will not come to the hospital for you. But that's what I mean when it comes to me being devilish. And that's how I was very shocked by me getting a sweet cherub angel chubby face result on this test on Facebook. So seriously, leave a time that I have done something for you. Either a motivational speak, because I'm good at those, or just something that has either changed the way our course of friendship has gone or it just changed you in general. Normally I sign off like saying I don't care, but I care. I care about you all and that's it. So leave a message.